We're just excited to bring together a team of individuals that are committed to helping keep CD9 clean. We've got a collaborative effort with the public sector and the private sector. And we're just all here recognizing that we're all on one team. Rapid Response is a team which council member Kern Price put together for rapid response for items and different things that's in your neighborhood that doesn't quite get picked up as fast and quick as you would want them to be picked up. So he put this team together so we can get out there and be a quicker response to every need that's in our district. You know, environmental equity is something that's so very, very important, uh, certainly in our society, but especially in our community. And, and you know, environmental issues are, are overlooked or shortchanged or are not given the same kind of priority that they receive in other communities. And so that's why I'm so proud to represent this area. So proud to have a, a collaboration, individuals and organizations that have a vision of improving the quality of life, right? And even if you don't live here, you know somebody who does. You know, you might have a relative or a friend here. And so, you know, you're making a big difference in their lives, you know, because they're the ones that are driving down the street. They see trash, you know, that, that you're asked to pick up, sometimes over, and over and over again. They, they see it and we know it. We, we, we wanna make things different. We wanna make things better. And so I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. Conservation Corps works with young people. Right now, we're working primarily with young people who are 18 to 26 years old. And we were very lucky to be asked to serve as the Clean and Green teams in CD9. And so we have three, soon to be four, crews of Corps members who are coming out into the district and cleaning up uh, major corridors every day. The Enterprise's mission is changing lives one job at a time. We hire and train youth and young adults to help us and assist with the beautification efforts, primarily in CD9. So coming in on a day-to-day -day basis, we would like to provide a service to the residents. So that way they have access to, to their busways, to school in a safe manner. Today we are on 52nd, um, adjacent to a school. And as you can see, there's a lot of debris and what this debris builds up kind of ma makes the kids have to kind of walk in the street because there's not enough pedestrian thoroughfare. Today we're on Grand and 45th. Uh, this area is significant because it's a hot spot in our grid. This is, one, this is where the spots where we have most of our dumping. We focus on alleyways, school zones, and uh, different neighborhoods. But our more part of our, the bulk of our work is uh, weed abatement, bulky item, and loose litter. Just report any bulky items, any debris that gets put out, call 311, report it to 311, or they could download my 311 app and actually report it on the app. La oficina del concejal Kern V. Price está comprometida a limpiar la comunidad, este, pero necesitamos la ayuda de ustedes para poder este, limpiar, y pa, porque este es un, programa, un problema muy grande. Este, si por favor puede usar el 311, llamando al 311 o usar la aplicación, um, eso ayuda mucho para este, mantener la comunidad este, limpia. So, muchas de las veces las personas no saben que estar tirando basura a las calles ilegalmente causa muchos problemas con la salud y con el ambiente. Uh, que pueden llamar, si tienen boqui, si tienen uh, basura que tirar, pueden tirarla fuera de su casa, llamar al 311 y vienen a juntarlo fuera de la casa. No tienen que hacer uh, tirarlo ilegalmente en otros lugares o callejones. So one person will come and dump, let's just say a couch, and then another person will see a couch there, being that it's near an empty lot, and say, oh, that's a perfect area for us to dump. And they'll come and dump boxes, debris, and anything else that they see that they, they need to get rid of. We oft, often have dumping in the same area two to three times a week. They're feeling comfortable in, in dumping in certain areas, and then it's a repeated situation. The most frustrating thing that I find that is when we come out and clean up and then people come right back and dump. And I think it's just a disjustice to the community um, that they're not connected to our services sometimes. And that's why we're here to, to get them back in connection with uh, using the 301 system. We're working hard to make sure we have a reporting system in place, one that tracks what you're doing, 
not so we can keep up with you, but so we can make sure we're serving the needs of the constituents, because that's why we're here. We're here for the citizens. I think it's a good system. We couldn't do this. It's a partnership with the councilman. He's, uh, his, his approach is definitely innovative, and I think councilman and his team have really done an effort to look at what works now so that the cleaning efforts that we do really make a good impact. So we measure the success of our teams, especially those in CD9, through this really great reporting system, which provides real-time data to both the council office and our team um, to ensure that our core members are cleaning up the areas most in need of cleanup. We've outlined uh, our, our plans to make sure every part of our district gets clean. It gets clean quickly, effectively, and efficiently. I think once we start cleaning, the residents take the initiative to actually start doing. Once they see it clean, they want to keep it clean. So from there, you see more uh, being proactive in the community. Always remember the quality of life which everyone deserves depends on each other. The council office is all in. You know, we've allocated up some $3 million of discretionary money, money that could be going to parks, going to seniors, going to youth programs. We've diverted that to environmental equity. You know, bringing on crews like yourself, buying equipment uh, like this. Our mission at the Corps is to provide young people with uh, work experience and job training. And so the idea is we're giving these young people a chance to explore what they might want to do for the rest of their lives, maybe just the next few years, but we're giving them experience and we are uh, giving them an opportunity to give back to their community. It's very easy to become a Corps member. You can go to our website, www.lacorps, that's L-A-C-O-R-P-S dot org, um, and click on the button, uh, I want to join. So we have a re-entry program where we hire and train the re-entry folks that come in. They, get, they come into our program and they get trained and then they go out in the field. They get work experience where then they're able to go out and get a job, but not only get the job, but also maintain the job. So it's a wraparound service that we do in-house and then they go out and help the community. Gives them a sense of ownership because a lot of the folks that clean the neighborhood are from the neighborhood. As I look around in conversations I've had, a lot of you guys live here. A lot of you are from this community. You know, because again, you're not just cleaning up some area that needs cleaning, but you clean up your own backyard. And so we just want to say that we appreciate the localness of what we're doing. I think for me, the most important part of this partnership is that CD9 is actually a place we call home. It is the uh, place where we have our flagship site um, a location we've served in and out of uh, for 36 years. Um, our core members call CD9 home as well, and this is really an opportunity for them and us to give back, to pay it forward, and to make a difference in their own backyards. Seeing this on a day-to-day -day basis, it, it's, it's very heartbreaking. Living in this community, seeing this, it, it's, it's one of the things where the, the life that we, we have is, is, would be low. Coming in and seeing something empty and clean, it, it brings a, a different point of life, you know? Uh, people are a lot happier, you know? People will be proud of their community. And that's what, you know, living here and seeing a clean community will bring progress. This is historic. No other council office has ever amassed the kinds of resources that we are amass amassing to make a difference. We appreciate them and we care about them and we appreciate their commitment to our community. We're all in this together. Go to the